Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we have got a new update um, video to check out here as we can see the new update is called um, Galactic Cleanup Update 23.1 as you can see here so yeah, the second version of update 23 now so as you can see this update includes a bunch of improvements so it's mainly an improvement um update but there's some new features as well um which we will hopefully be able to um check out today so um a new and improved in or induction or yeah introduction tutorial a new simulation for 2019 okay cool so yeah we're we'll gonna try that um new tutorial out so yeah there is that um some more highlights so improved handling for galaxies and smaller scale objects that should be quite good more accurate galaxy masses hopefully they would have fixed um ic1101 because that one was really really off um from what we've seen um new galaxy star count property teleport tool that seems interesting Okay, the new introduction design for anyone who's just getting started in the sandbox. Well, we'll check it out anyway. Um, and if you missed the Galaxy tutorial, oh yeah, we now have to get to the um, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, but there is um, uh, more details as well. There's a lot of stuff to um, go through here. So um, there's all of that stuff. But then um, there's also um, yeah that new simulation about the uh, 2019 asteroid, which was um, 65,000 kilometers of earth yeah that was um, how far away it was um the galaxy is more stable improved accuracy calculations for galaxies to ensure time step doesn't exceed safe limits for galaxy stability so a lot of just background sort of stuff the improved um, accuracy also helps black hole behavior in galaxy collisions okay that should be quite cool we'll definitely have to do some galaxy collisions today uh, more accurate masses so updated masses for known galaxies i definitely want to check out ic1101 with that and then it also says improved spiral galaxy mass calculation more accurate masses for Milky Way and Andromeda to um, or updated to recent scientific results. Okay. And that also the Milky Way mass is now 1.5 trillion solar masses, which was previously 0 0.58. So they've also changed how much one Milky Way in masses. Andromeda mass is now 0 0.8 trillion solar masses, previously 1.5 trillion. So they've um, changed a few bits of that. More accurate angles to galaxies in the local group sim. Ooh. I haven't been in the local group. Okay, we are definitely searching that up. Improved vi galaxy visuals with better dust transitions. Okay, improved dust gas star properties to the nebula. Now express three part percentages. Okay, updated values. Okay, uh, all right, cool. So there's also some game fixes in there. So there's not really too much that we need to... Uh, yeah, we don't need to really check that stuff. That's just all background just fixes, not really any new stuff. So there is a new tutorial. The new teleport tool, so it's in tools and teleport, so it's from the VR version, okay, so click on an object to move the camera close to it, okay, so that teleport should be quite cool, there's also an improvement with guide design tutorials, okay, so new home panel banner, okay, right, okay, so that's mainly all of the stuff other than just a few other tweaks and bug fixes, so we'll go ahead and uh, get rid of this now, that is pretty much everything, right, so... Something about a new banner here. I'm not really where sure where that is. But anyway, let's just go into the uh, tutorial. So the Galaxy tutorial has changed. So this one here. So I will go ahead and see what the um, difference is. See if there's anything different here. So here's the new um, Galaxies. They look slightly different. This interface looks different as well from what it used to be. So yeah, that text looks different. Okay, so Spiral Galaxies have it. Yeah, so this is the same sort of stuff. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause the video. But yeah, there we go. So um, Galaxies properties. So yeah, we know how to do that here. Okay, so this menu still looks fairly similar. Okay, so the basic controls. So we can obviously change the types to get different spirals. Oh, Gal I'm so glad they added these galaxies. These are so cool. So, yeah, there we go. All right. Spiral galaxy has a few extra. Yep, yeah, that's right. So we can change how many spirals it has. Make it pretty cool there. It does look really cool when it's got one like that, I have to say. Then we've got pitch angle. It is so cool. You can have so many unique galaxies. Hopefully, um, they're less laggy between simulations now, because you, you used to not really be able to have more than three in one, but maybe maybe now you can actually have more in one simulation without it being too uh, laggy. All right, so there we go. Pitch angle. Okay, so we need to put it to 20 just to continue this. Spiral arm, okay. So there's that. They are cool. So there we go. Elliptical galaxy. So there are these guys. I really like the elliptical ones, I have to say. So E2. There we go. Okay, so it's roughly the same tutorial. There's not too much difference in here from um, what I remember. But yeah, it's just showing you the basic um, uses of the galaxies here. So yeah, there we go. So then you can obviously, if you zoom in, you can select the individual nebulas and stuff. So there we go. So we should be able to change to return to the properties. Yeah, I remember that. 
So the, yeah, this um, the interface is definitely changed slightly by the looks of it there. So that's the um, Galaxy tutorial, but yeah, pretty much the same as before. So I want to go into this local group simulation. Where is this? I don't, have I ever been in this one? Our local group. I don't think I've ever been in this one since the new update. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's the Milky Way and Andromeda. Wow. All of the galaxies are in here. That is pretty cool. And, and yeah, as you can see, the simulation, it's a little laggy. It could be better, but it definitely could be worse. So that, here they are. So there's all of the galaxies. So you can see um, Andromeda there. That's the main other big one. Okay, so the local group includes the Milky Way and its nearest galactic neighbours. The group includes large spiral galaxies, the Milky Way, Andromeda and Triangulum, as well as dozens of other smaller satellite galaxies. This simulation features 19 of over 60 galaxies that have been identified as members of the local group. So these are the major ones. So yeah, there we go. So the Milky Way. I never knew this simulation existed. I don't think I've ever been in this simulation. Wow. Cool. Right, so let's just get a lineup of all of the galaxies in here. So there's, there's the full lineup. Wow, I didn't know I could run so many galaxies in a simulation, but here's the whole list. So there is Andromeda. Then we have the Milky Way, which is about half the size. So then we have um, NGC here. Oh, that's the black hole, but this is the. So this is NGC. Okay. Then we have Triangulum there. Then we have some different ones here. This is the elliptical. So Leo 1, Sextans, A and B. Down here we've got Messier, 110, Lar the Large Magnetic Cloud, the Fornax Dwarf. I've never actually heard of that one. Um, Sagittarius Dwarf. Where's that? I've never seen... I've, I've not seen some of these before. Small, the Small Cloud, M32, we've seen that before. That used to be the biggest galaxy in the game before the um, galaxy updates. Um, and Draco Dwarf. Oh, there's even more! Wow, okay. So I see... Wow, that is very cool. I'm very impressed with it. I never knew this simulation was a thing. That is epic. So there we go. There's the whole list of galaxies. So if we speed this up, how right, how well does it play? Does the Milky Way actually crash into the Andromeda? I have to find out. So there we go. All right, let's uh, go ahead and speed this up. We're going to have to speed it up a lot. Will it, will it even run quicker? I mean, I don't know how run fast this will run. We have got a lot of galaxies in here. Oh, it does actually move. Okay. Very, very laggy and slow, but it does work. So, even even travelling at millions of years a second, it's quite a gap to Andromeda, as you can see. Andromeda's still all the way up there. I mean, there's a massive gap between Andromeda and Milky Way, you've got to remember. Very, very big gap indeed. So, yeah, I don't I don't think uh, running this simulation, I don't think we'll be seeing them collide anytime soon. Because even at first, or like a few million years a second, they are going to take forever to move since they take billions of years to move. So, yeah... We can see the smaller galaxies actually being eaten up by the Milky Way. So, yeah, that little um, Sagittarius Dwarf one has been um, sucked up on the Milky Way there by the looks of it. But, yeah, there is the local group. So, I, d I didn't know that existed. I am really impressed with that. I never knew that was a thing. So, yeah, there we go. But I'm going to go ahead and reopen it. I'm going to compare it to some of the larger galaxies. So, we're going to go ahead and pause it. Turn off the trails. So, yeah, there we go. And let's try this new teleport feature out. So that's in tools now. Tools and teleport. So does it just, do we just, how does this work? Teleport to selected object. So say I selected, if I can actually spot it. So there's Andromeda. So, so it just takes me straight there without me having to double click. Okay, cool. That's okay. I like that. So, so that'd, be, that'd be quite useful just to quickly travel around. Maybe that'd be good for subscriber systems or something. So we can just, yeah, we can travel around nice and fast with that teleport. Okay, that's cool. Nice. Nice little um, feature they added, added there. So, there we go for that. But let's go actually go into the Galaxy Collision Sim right now. And we'll just go ahead and uh, see how it runs, see how it performs. So, let's go ahead and load that up. If it loads or is my game going to crash? I mean, that, that's always uh, that's always an option. I mean, it has crashed before. And it has crashed. Okay, so we'll have to open it again. That was very funny. I mean, the simulation wasn't running. So, I guess we'll just have to reopen the game. And let's um, see how it rolls from there. So, performance-wise, it could still be a little buggy when you uh, change simulations with galaxies. Because, obviously, galaxies, still not the least buggy thing in the game. I mean, there's definitely some things that are worse, like back holes for bugginess. But, but galaxies are still a little buggy. So, um, yeah, we'll have to uh, have to see how um, they perform. So, okay, we're back in the game now. Let's just see. Is it all... Okay, cool. So, we're, you guys can see it now. So... 
Right, if we go back into the Galaxy Collision, hopefully it won't crash. But yeah, just loading simulations can crash the PC if you're already in a simulation that's putting a lot of stress on the computer by the looks of it. But here we go, and look at this. Wow. Look at all these little particles just being pulled out of Andromeda. That, that's, that is really cool. Yeah, it definitely looks like there's de there's definitely improvements here. I can definitely notice a few things that this looks way more spectacular than it used to um, back in the older versions. Like, yeah, that that looks way better than it used to with the Galaxy Collision. I'm, I'm really um, impressed with that. That is a very, very nice job to the Universe Sandbox team because that that looks awesome. So, yeah, there we go. Now we have Milcomeda, or however you want to call it. And, yeah, they have combined and just gone crazy. So, yeah, there you go. And it's pretty much just blown it all up now. But, yeah, the, when they collided, that looked really, really cool with the improvements there. So, yeah, very, very nice um, indeed for um, that. That actually did look really, really cool. So, yeah, there we go. So, it seems that they're um, slight improvements with the more stable galaxies and the star count and all that, how the galaxies move and stuff. It seems that that is um, it's definitely noticeable, I think, that the galaxies collide a lot better now. So, yeah, there we go. That is looking really cool. And then it also mentioned about... The um the simulation of the twenty nineteen oh excuse me that the simulation of the twenty nineteen asteroid so where's that in the menu here yeah the the, the flyby of the twenty nineteen OK asteroid thing so yeah where is it um yeah there it is so this was the one that flew yes was it was seventy five thousand within the Earth was it uh okay so let's just pause it so July twenty forty or July twenty fourth twenty nineteen astronomers detect detected and announced the discovery of an asteroid twenty nineteen OK that's a pretty interesting name mere hours before its closest approach to Earth with a radius between thirty and sixty five meters is the largest object to pass within the moon's orbit so far this year so yeah there it is so as we can see it goes in between the Earth and the moon's orbit there so. Look how close it gets to Earth at that point. I mean, you're not going to spot that in the night sky. It's just way too small. But it's still, uh, I guess, a pretty significant object for its size there to um, pass by um, the Earth there. So, yeah, pretty cool indeed there. So, yeah, the 2019 OK asteroid. Maybe we we'll have to include that in a size comparison or something in the future. But, yeah, there it is. So, that's its orbit right there. Looking good. So, yeah, that is that for um, the that simulation. Is there any other new simulations? No, I think that's all of it. So let's just see, is there any other stuff I've missed out on? Okay, so we looked at the teleport, the small improvements, the galaxy masses. Yes, yeah, um, all just numbers, not anything in the game we can really look at. Yeah, so it was um, yeah, 65,000 kilometers of Earth, this asteroid was at its closest point. Only 65,000. If we look at the moon, for instance, go to the moon's options here. The moon is about 380,000. Oh, we're continually changing, but the, just say the moon is about 380,000. So... Yeah, 380, 400,000, somewhere around there with these values here. So, yeah, that asteroid did get quite close. Uh, it's closest um, with its um, only um, 65,000 um, gap there. That is uh, that's really cool. So, um, yeah, there it is. Yeah, 65,000. I almost said 75. No, 65,000 kilometers. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Right, and actually, I think there's one more thing we need to check out, and that is the stars in galaxies. We'll just go to a random database galaxy here, and, and we'll have to check out IC1101 as well, okay? So this simulation creates a random galaxy from our database of 500 nearest galaxies. Okay, so that's one galaxy. So there's something to do with star... Is it star count? Oh, my... Okay, quadrillion? That's a number. What happens if you do that? One quadril. Wow, okay, so you can really play around with these numbers. What about 1,000? Oh, you can literally just turn the galaxy off. That's only 1,000. Can we go to, like, 0 0.5 thousand? So that would be in the hundreds, no? Okay, so the lowest you can go is 285,000. So if we go back to a quadrillion, how high can we ramp this number? Uh, is that, have we just killed the galaxy completely? Or have we glitched? I think we've glitched out. Okay, let's just uh, reopen it again. Okay, so maybe that's still quite a glitchy uh, thing. But if we... Uh, so that's at one trillion, so quadrillion. What if we get to one quadrillion then? Oh man, that is very bright. That's very, very bright. Times two. Is that I'm sure that will just break the times ten. Okay, so that's the brightest it can appear as. But look how bright that is. Oh, wow. So yeah, there we go. Okay, and then we'll see if we uh, lower it down, it will go back to like the normal. Okay, cool. So there is that. All right now we'll go into a new simulation, and last off, we'll check. IC1101. We're going to see how big that is because... Actually, no, what I'll do is I'll go into my size comparison. 2019. So, we'll go in there. 
So, where is it? It was size comparison, black holes. What did I call it? I just called the simulation 2019, if I remember right. Okay, here we go. It should be 2019 Galaxy 2, I think it was. So, in here, it should be IC 1101. Right, so yeah, we had Milky Way, Andromeda, and that was IC. So, this was IC 1101 that I had to custom build because the normal IC 1101. So, this is how big it should be. So how big is IC1101 now? Is it still too small or is it have they improved it? So here it is. Oh, so it looks like they have. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, they have. They fixed it. Perfect. Oh, that is what that's, I said. That. I was hoping that would be fixed. So there we go. They've actually made a good fix there. IC1101 is now pretty much how it should be. So you can see my one here. It is slightly different in mass, but the radius is what I was really going for. And I was quite close with my one. I got 35.5. This one is 36.3. See, I, I, I rounded it up, though, to be fair. So, yeah, you can't really tell the difference between these anyway. But, yeah, all right, awesome. So that is great. They have fixed IC1101 Galaxy. They have fixed it. They have made it the correct size. Because when we first did the Galaxy video, it was way too small. And we had, I made it bigger in the video to show how big it should have been. But, yeah, it is good to see that they have fixed this. That, I definitely think they have done good fixing that. Because, yeah, I noticed it straight away when it was wrong that, yeah, there was something up there. How does it that look when you make it brighter? Does it do anything? I don't know. Let's just go into a new simulation and do that. But that's good. So IC1101 is fixed now um, compared to the previous update where it was not correct. So that, that's good to see. I'm happy they did that. So anyways, let's go, go ahead and spawn it in again. Right, I want to see what happens if you increase the stars on this guy. Does it make it like ultra bright? So trillion. What if I uh, just change this number up? Does it do anything? Is it Does it like glow like crazy like the other one did? Does it do anything? That makes the mass bigger. Star count. Uh, it doesn't seem like it uh, does anything in here. Oh, well. So it seems like it's only on the uh, regular. So the spirals where it really makes it ultra bright. How about the irregular? Does it do anything? Oh, it, oh my. Look at the irregular. Damn. That's ultra, ultra bright. So it looks like elliptical. Oh, no. Now, oh, now on elliptical it's changed. Okay. So it seems like you just have to change it. So it looks like on all galaxy types, it does make it super super bright and glowing if you uh, make the star count go crazy. But yeah, there we go. So that is it for um, the new update of Universe Sandbox, guys. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below um, as well. And yeah, guys, also, we hit 9,000 subscribers um, this morning, I believe. So yeah, just a massive, massive thanks for that because it's absolutely amazing. I only noticed it um, a few hours ago, actually, that we had um, hit the milestone. So just a massive, massive thank you to all guys. It's absolutely insane how it has gone recently. And yeah, looks like we'll be getting 10,000 by my prediction. We should be getting it before December, maybe. So yeah, that's our new goal. So instead of saying to join, to join, or the join now to get 9,000, it'd be 10,000. So yes, that is... That's crazy. 10,000 is the next milestone. That is absolutely amazing. It's just a huge thanks to everyone who comes back every video, everyone who's recently subscribed, everyone who's ever been on the channel at all. Just a massive, massive thank you to all. It wouldn't, well, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for you guys. So that is absolutely, just cannot thank you enough. That is amazing with um, how it has gone over these years. And yeah, hopefully I can keep making more videos um, for the foreseeable future now. So yeah, just a huge thank you to you all. And, yeah, we'll just have one last um, look at the teleport tool as we end off, guys. So, yeah, really, really cool indeed here. So, yeah, we, you have to have the menu open for it to work. But you can now just teleport to anywhere you want to go. Cool. That's a nice little um, feature, actually. I like that. So, yeah, there we are, guys. So, yeah, that is everything. So, yeah, if you like this video, guys, make sure to um, hit that like button. Let's even go for 40 likes on today's video. And also subscribe and join us on the journey to 10,000 subscribers now. Oh, my God, that is crazy saying that. But, yeah, just a huge thanks again, guys. And, yeah, massive thank you for watching, guys. So, yeah, only, only the only thing to say now is make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.